Hey, what's up, barbecue lovers? Today we're gonna grill a perfect juicy hamburger. Burgers on the grill are some of the best and most delicious seats, and they're so easy to cook. A grilled and juicy hamburger is also one of the best ways to bring people together for holidays, birthdays, at the beach, at the park, or just to have a really great time in the backyard. Here's three quick tips to help you cook them perfectly. First is using the flippity flip method. This helps keep the moisture in the patties and prevents a dry cardboard burger. Number two, when forming your burgers, make sure they're a bit bigger than your buns because they're gonna shrink while they're cooking. And third, fire control. This is always important when grilling anything. I do recommend having a dual zone cooking setup just in case it gets too hot. You can always move your burgers so they don't burn. This is also a great way to minimize fires. We're gonna cook these on the Weber kettle, cooking at about 300 to 350 degrees. I'm gonna be using some of Aaron Franklin's briquettes as fuel, and we're gonna be topping this burger exactly the way I like to eat it, traditional cheeseburger with a little bacon on top. Now let's get fired up. I'm gonna season these burgers with some of my wow seasoning. That's our favorite barbecue rub. Now I've already seasoned the bottom just to make things a little bit quicker today. I'm gonna to lay a nice little coat of wow on here. Burger number one. We want to put it right over the coals to start out. And here's burger number two. I'm also going to lay my two little bacon slices over here. Terry does not do bacon on her burger, but I do. So I'm going to put me two very pretty juicy little bacon strips over here. All right, now we're running about 375 actually. I'm going to put the lid on right away to bring that temperature down. All right, we've got our lid on. We're gonna wait about maybe four minutes and uh, then we're gonna take a look at them and see if it's time to flip. As I said earlier, one of the techniques to keep them nice, juicy, and moist is to use the flippity flip. You flip them and flip them and flip them. Now, I know some old school guys like to say you only flip once. Really, that's an old technique that works fine if you wanna do it that way, but really for best moisture and best tenderness on any meat, is to flip, flip, flip. I call it the flippity flip. And that helps keep the moisture in the meat. Now, if you've observed your meat when it's on the grill, you'll notice when it's sitting over the coals or over the heat, the moisture will start to evaporate over the top of the meat. Now, if it sits there too long, all that moisture is gone. It's gone into the atmosphere. It's gone out of the pit. I like to flip it before it gets too moist so that the moisture travels back up in the other direction. And before it comes out, we're gonna flip it again and keep that moisture inside the meat. Man, I can smell those hamburgers already. That little bit of grease dripping down into the coals, it just really smells great. All right, friends, it's been about four minutes. Let's just take a quick peek and see what they look like. I'm gonna flip this one first. Woo hoo, yes, look at that, beautiful. Beautiful little char going on there. Right over the coals, folks. This is gonna be some awesome hamburgers. You can see the bacon over here starting to sweat a little bit too. So we're gonna do the flippity flip on the bacon just as well. We're gonna let it cook over here in direct for a little while. It's gonna be really great. All right, let's get it covered up quick so that we don't get a grease fire. Now here's tip number two. Always make sure you make your hamburgers a little bit bigger than the bun because they do tend to shrink a little bit as they cook. And the more fat they have, the more they're gonna shrink. All right, friends, it's been another four minutes. Let's take another peek and see what our burgers look like. Look at that, they're sweating again. Time to flip. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You can see how they plumped up and they kind of shrank this way a little bit so they're fatter than where they were when I put them in. Also, you guys see all this smoke? Remember what I always say? <laughs> if the smoke ain't in your face, you're just doing it all wrong. Now, tip number three is always gonna be about fire control. You wanna have that just right amount of fire. Now, honestly, sometimes that comes with trial and error. You have to know your pit, know what kind of coals you're gonna use. You can always regulate your temperature with your vent. You have just the right amount of airflow coming in through the bottom, for example, on the Weber kettle, and just the right amount of air escaping out of the top. Less air means you're gonna control that heat so it doesn't get away from you. Now, I also recommend a dual zone setup on your grill because that way, if it's too hot, if you accidentally have a little too much charcoal in there, you start to get a grease fire, you can always move your burgers over to the other side. They'll continue to cook with the radiant heat and the convection, but at least they won't burn on you. 
All right, friends, we're getting closer to having our burgers done. And one of the things I really like on my hamburgers is a grilled jalapeno. So I'm going to drop this right over the coals here. That bacon needs to get moved and flipped a little bit too. We're going to come back a little bit closer now. Try and get it nice and crispy. All right, guys, we're almost done cooking, but I'm just curious. How do you like your hamburgers? What do you like to top your hamburgers with? Go ahead and put it in the comments below. All right, it's been another four, three and a half to four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it one more time. Remember, we're doing the flippity flip method. If you look real close here, you can tell they're starting to sweat again a little bit. So I wanna flip them one more time. After one more flip, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check the inter internal temperature. Now you can tell, looking closer, this one's getting a little bit more char than that one. So that means it's a little hotter on this side. I'm gonna slide this one over this way and that way they should finish and render and cook completely evenly. Let's put the lid back on. All right, friends, it's been another three minutes. We're getting closer to done, so I'm not gonna give it four. I'm giving it about two and three quarters to three minutes. Let's take another look. Yep, they're looking mighty fine. Look at that. Woo -wee. All right. Now let's test out that bonus tip. Let's use our thermopen. We're at 170. These burgers are done, mama. Perfect. Look at that juice coming out of there. It's nice and clear. That one's nice and clear. That one's 177. They are perfect. They are well done hamburgers, not medium. All right, friends, we're human. I forgot to put the cheese on my burger, so we're gonna put it back in the grill and get the cheese going. <laughs> Yeah, that cheese has to be melted. It can't just be cheese on top. All right, we're gonna put some pepper jack cheese first, and then we're gonna put a little yellow cheese on top of that. All right, let's put the lid on so that cheese can melt. Let's go ahead and assemble our burger. I don't like to put anything on the bottom bun because I don't want it to get soggy. The only thing I want is the meat. We're gonna go ahead and lay our bacon on here, and then I like to put the tomatoes. We're gonna put Three of these here, well, two's enough. I love to put a little extra wow on my tomato. Sorry, folks, but I do. I really do. <laughs> All right, we're gonna lay the pickles on next. Because the pickles are the wettest, now this is just the way I like to do things. You can do them any way you want. I like to lay the pickles under the lettuce because they're more moist. They're very liquidy, very wet, if you wanna call it that. And I do like a lot of uh, pickles, if you can't tell. I love a lot of pickles. And uh, I'm also gonna lay my jalapenos right here. We're gonna give it a big old squirt of mustard because I like mustard on my hamburger. And I like the lettuce last because the lettuce is not so moist or wet and it keeps the bun from getting too soggy. That's just the way I like to do it, folks. Now this is my perfect juicy, cheesy bacon burger. Lots of pickles, lots of jalapenos, double cheese, and a nice, fat, juicy patty. Let's take a bite. Ooh, that looks so good. All right, I figured that my mouth wasn't quite big enough, so I ran and grabbed the knife. We're gonna go ahead and cut it in half and see what it looks like. Let's do that. All right, now that's better. I think I can bite that one. Let's take a big bite. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Isn't that beautiful hamburger? Look how fat that patty is. Mmm. 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 Man. Wow. What can I say? That is a wonderful, amazing, good hamburger. You taste the beefy burger. You taste the pickles, the jalapeno, that little tart from the mustard, the buns toasted just a little bit, just right. It's fantastic. Folks, you gotta try a burger like this. This is how you cook a hamburger. All right, friends, once again, if you like the content we're putting out, Go ahead and hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos from Arnie Tech. If you're interested in purchasing our WOW or our OG rub, you can go to pitmaster.us. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to keep the smoke light and make it work. Boom!